Don't mind the state of the place, Brandon. Oh, Grandma. Have a seat. Thanks. So tell me, Brandon, what brings you here? Because it's certainly not Heather. I was going to ask for a little bit of money off you. I don't have money. It's all in Torok's bank account. It's only a small amount. Seems like I give money out. I thought, I thought you might want to let me some. You're fairly, uh, what, nice What? Reserved? Person. I hear voices. I don't hear voices. Torok is a gifted medium. Your son is coming true to me. He says you should have your bank account in my pocket. Yeah, did he? Tell us another one. It's only for him yeah, to say it! It's only for the Torok to say it here, though! But you won't listen to me! What are you saying here? I'm getting this voice in my head. You should empty your bank account into my purse. It's only a small account. I don't need a bit of money that I need, but if you're able to give Turlock his money, maybe you'll have some for me. Why is the real reason you're here? Because That's why. You want to fucking get out of here. Don't come over to my home and tell me how to live my life. Because me and Bob is knows what we're Grandma! Doing. Listen! You don't care to see it, Brandon. I won't be listening. My mind is set on it. You will listen! You hear me? You will listen! No one ever ignores me! Nobody ignores me! I should have known this is a bad idea. I should have never brought you in. Well, you're nearly not what you have to live with now! Alright, you slut! And that's what I mean. How dare you come into my home and insult me like that? Don't you ever call me. Give me the money now! Give me the money! Or I'll beat you over the head with a baseball bat! You go, you come near me, and I'll have to guard here in two minutes before you can count your nappies. David, the Dominic's outside, wait! It's back up! Empty your wallet into my purse! <sighs> Mother of God! How much do you want? About five euro. I only wanted to get a point. After all that, you could have asked me if Bob would have given it to you for free. No, I wouldn't ask you for the shit off my own. I'm not a beggar now, you first. Get out. Get out. Fuck off. Get out of my home. Fuck off. I'm telling you now. Fuck off. Get out. Fuck off. No. Do I smell a rat? A copra sitting at your door, looking out at me. Get out. Go. No. I can't go. Now leave me alone. Yeah. We'll soon see about that. Now get out oh before God. I get out. Are you gonna go bad, Fanny? Telling you, Brandon, don't push out. Get the fuck out. All right. Slow. Get Slow. the fuck out. Open up the door! <sighs> Just had Open it up! Joe. Open up! Please! Five euro! Five! Yeah, yes. Turnak. Yes. Is who's that calling you now the minute we come out the door? It's just someone from a bank account agency. Uh, it's pay up for now. <sighs> no answer. God, it's a cold night. It's time to muffle up in these times and weathers. Bob! Bob! Yeah? Over here! Come here! What's going on? How can I help you? What's wrong? Who's wrong? Oh, look who it is. Where's my wife? I don't know. Where did you put her? I didn't see her. Where did you put my wife? I wouldn't know. I must have been out with my sister. We call her immediately, you hear me? Or I'll smash her face up. I'll push your bones! No! Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't move, Bob! I'm telling you now. Bob, the luck! My wife is dead. I'll kill you and myself. And the whole of the rest of the The town. Relax, Bob. If I go, we all go. The show is over. Fair City won't be on anymore. I'll kill us all and the directors and everything. Especially the directors. I'll burn them in the house. What's his problem? Here's your love. You're yeah, alright. Nice. Would you like a cup of tea? No, Bob. Are you sure? I'm positive, Bob. Certain? 100%. And? 
Hundred percent, Bob. Hundred percent. Ah, what does he mean by that? Where did you go? Let me in! What's in this fridge? Oh, uh, hey, you son. What do you want? Hey, son. How's things, Harry? I'm more than bollocks, eh? How's your ma? She's in the coffin. Harry? She's in the coffin. You killed her, remember? Son. I don't mean to, you know. I know you, but is there any chance of a rubbing a flannel over my arse when you finished your coffee? You're more than bollocks. You know, it's just that uh, I, I, I didn't have it to, to wash in two Still weeks. No, son, it's I not you're, like you're, that. You're, you're flying around on a tripod. No. I think everything's gross. I didn't. Yeah. Your man never missed me. Shitting in your hammock. Upstairs. Well, I was thinking about moving it down here. And my ma's dead. She's not, son. Over oh, you. She's just on a holiday, that's all. A holiday that I'll never see her from. Sean, don't don't be like that, Sean. You know it's not true. What is true then? You killed her. The truth is, Sean, I love you. You're my son. No, I'm not. Wish you weren't dead instead of me, man. No, no, no. No, sh no, Sean. No, Sean. Yeah. Don't start touching me, Mickey. You killed her. Sean, don't touch me, Mickey, please. You killed her. You're dying cunt. You're next. I'm going down to the garage. And I'm going to ask Rob for the car. No, a bus. That no, way I'll kill no, you Sean. straight away. Sean, don't touch me, Mickey, please. I need a bus to kill you. Sean, don't touch me, Mickey. You pervert. Who touch you anyway? <laughs> Buck up, won't you? Yeah. Go down to the garage, it's Go me. Back, it's yeah. straight, I'm at the window. Come back. Come back. So, Louis. Only five euro at the shops. And I went into the shop. And I know I'm sick of your shit. And they gave me some smokes. And I said to Christy, how much will it cost me? Give me a... And he says, 50 pence. I don't think that would be appropriate. What do you Why mean? Why Because I'm going bankrupt. I love you, Gina, so much. Cock! <laughs>